So we have a storm brewing, not the worst one this weekend, but one. And I'm gonna bring the horses in. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo! Come on, girls. They're just standing there. <laughs> anyway, I'm bringing the horses in because it's a big wind that's coming through this morning. And we have so many mature trees. And with big winds and mature trees that still have all their leaves, trees can blow down. And there's gonna be a lot of rain. So here we go, they're coming. Plod, plod, plod. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Atta girl. Come on, girls. Come on. Out of girls. Come on. Okay. Now make sure they get in the right stable. Ishka, why do you insist on going into your daughter's stable? I know, grasshopper, it's not fair. Your mother always comes in and eats your food. Come on, you go out. Go on, go to your stable. There we go. There. No, she's in. You've got food in your trough. And you have food in yours. Okay. The big storm is coming Sunday. Isn't that right? But the worst is gonna be in the west of Ireland. But I'll still have to bring the horses in because of the trees and the big winds. Okay, job done for the day. I'll turn these guys out actually after the storm has passed, which I think will be this afternoon. So another job I'm doing, you see the few windfall trees, but there's loads still in the tree and I'm picking them to make applesauce and baked apples and put them in the deep freeze. So it's a process of harvest before the big winds come and blow them all down onto the ground where certain people eat them. She loves her apples, eating her apple. Apple a day keeps the vet away. <laughs> She loves her apples. It's actually quite apt that I'm using the Savor Kilkenny Food Festival to collect my apples. This is what I'm going to do while it's raining, is peel these, core them, and make them into food. Unlike dogs, who eat them raw. She's completely finished her apple. Look at you, you eating your apple. All my dogs love eating apples. Look, she's gonna grab another one. She chooses the ripest one and goes over. We'll start eating it. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, my hands are full of apples. My arms are full. Oh, and they're dropping everywhere. So, there we go. No more apples core and cook and peel. Isn't that right, puppers? So, savor Kilkenny. Now, we have one of the most wonderful trees here. This is 
an espaliered apple tree that my great-grandfather planted and I'm picking apples from it now. You can see there's some apples. So a lot of them have wind fallen, but that's the Bramley apple. And look, I love how there's ferns growing on the tree as well. Anyway, it's a delicious cooking apple. So I'm gonna be picking apples from this tree as well before they're all wind fallen down to the ground. Everything is drying on the aga. Well, I'm not adding my scarf. And the dogs are drawing beneath it. What, Giddy? Where are you? Oh. Hey, I've met. Hey, Giddy. Yeah. Anyway, while the rain and wind is blowing, I'm going to be chopping up and coring and peeling these apples. This is a, a chopping board that belonged to my great aunt Cicely. And it's a lovely thick chop, chopping board. I don't know who carved aunt Cicely's name in there. I have no idea. So I don't know how old this chopping board is. It's probably a lot older than me. I remember Aunt Cicely. She was the oldest of my grandfather's siblings. So she was the oldest child born in the last century. Anyway, I've got to now core and peel apples for stewing. Such a pretty little snail. I'm peeling and coring apples to make apple stewed apples and found this little fella who's gorgeous and teeny weeny itsy bitsy such a pretty snail look at that spiral I'll put it outside you're so pretty. is visiting and cousin Dora and Inca thinks there's something delicious in amongst the mushrooms and the horse chestnut trunks as does bear could be a mouse a vole a rat a shrew Gorgeous sky. 
The sun's setting. I have to go feed the sheep now. Beautiful sky. Dog. Hello. Yes, please. Supper time. Supper time. amazing sky. <laughs>